Hi, welcome to my video on this classic Toshiba desktop calculator. Uh, dates from about 1969 as far as I know. It's uh, model BC-1611 and um, yeah, it's quite a neat looking uh, calculator. But bigger than uh, the ones you see today, that's for sure. Uh, 16 Nixie tubes. Uh, so yeah, it looks looks pretty cool when it's fired up. So I'm just going to do a uh, short demonstration on uh, how to use this vintage calculator. On off switch here, and uh, got your main uh, numeric keypad here uh, with your functions on the right hand side here. And you've got some memory functions, uh, clearing and constant uh, toggle switch here. Most of these keys are just momentary, but likes of the, the toggle switch is a, um, a latched toggle for the constant and for the uh, memory function and also the percentage. This dial here uh, sets the number of decimal places not sure if you can see that on the screen, I'll get some close-ups of that. Uh, so, yep, first of all, I'll fire it up. And you can see those Nixie tubes glowing away there. Looks really cool at night, that's for sure. It runs a little bit differently to a standard calculator. I think it's more like a, an adding machine, which I'm less familiar with, but uh, so for instance, um, to add a set of three numbers, um, you start, or well, first of all we'll set the decimal place to two here, and for instance uh, 619.2 uh, plus 460.67 plus 529 equals which is the, uh, it's all on the same key there obviously, uh, gives you your answer of 1608.87. Subtraction is a little bit different to what you would do on a standard calculator. Um, people who are familiar with adding machines uh, might know about this, but uh, so to, to subtract um, 28.5 and 66.5 from 932.68 you first of all um, do 932.68 uh, normally you would expect to hit minus now and then subtract the next number and minus again and equals to get your total uh, not in this case you hit plus to tell the calculator that it's actually a positive number is uh, what I gather anyway uh, so next number 28.5 you want to subtract that so now you hit the minus and 66.5 minus I think it is yeah 837.68 yeah that's right okay the multiplication uh, so we will multiply 659 659 0.46 uh, multiplied by 380.51 equals 250,931.12 uh, division. So this is pretty straightforward, really. Division 1247.39 divided by 27.57. equals 45.24 just to show some of the decimal place functions um, I'm leaving it on decimal place there's two here at the moment 5.89 times 2.4 times 7.05 equals 99.65 okay now uh, four decimal places, so I've turned the knob here up to four. So say 
two point five uh, divided by fifty one point four five divided by I'm working off the um, sales brochure by the way that 0.234 equals and we get the 3.6174 so down to four decimal places there okay uh, multiplying with a constant is the next one here uh, so let's say we have 12.3 multiplied by 23 you want to calculate that and then you might want to do 12.3 times 45.6 and then you might want to do 12.3 times 7.89 uh, so the 12.3 is the constant there uh, so what you do is um, we'll set back to two decimal place here clear it and um, you do 12.3 and you hit the constant uh, key there to toggle that down and then you just carry on and do your first multiplication so uh, times uh, 23 was our first one equals that's our first result uh, then you can just uh, go ahead and do the remaining so the remaining ones with 12.3 times 45.6 and uh, so we just do 45.6 equals and then 7.89 was the other one equals no need to um, do the times again, it uh, stores that as the constant division with a constant. Okay, uh, if we want to divide 789 by 24 and then 456 by 24 also. So um, uh, set the decimal place up to 4, 789. divided by 24 and that's our constant select constant equals okay, uh, 32.875 and then we can just do the next one which was 456 divided by 24 24 being the constant so we just do 456 equals and it should be 19 yeah so um, pretty handy Power. So if you want to do uh, 3 to the power of 5, I think that is. So you can use the uh, constant for doing uh, to the power of, because it doesn't have a dedicated uh, to the power of function. Uh, so if you wanted to do 3 to the power of 5, you would um, hit 3 and constant, and then times, and then equals 4 times. So we've got the first power, second, third, fourth, fifth, 243 there. To work out 12% uh, of 789, uh, first of all we'll, we'll set back to two decimal places here and uh, toggle the percentage switch there. And uh, 789, we want to find 12% of it, so times 12 equals, and there we have 94.68 is the uh, result for 12% of 789. To work out what percentage 123 is of 456, you start by uh, percent toggles down and uh, 123 is the amount of percentage you want to work out. Divide by 456 equals so 20 uh, 123 is 26.97 percent of 456 generating uh, intermediate results and then adding those intermediate results together is uh, pretty easy on this with uh, a constant anyway this particular example so if we took uh, 360 times 12 and then added 360 times 78 and then subtracted 360 times 54, we would go about that. So decimal set to zero, 
a this uh, enables the memory. I'll clear that. So read ARVs recall. So I've just cleared the uh, memory there from the last calculation. 360, which is the constant. Um, okay. Times 12 equals, there's our first intermediate result, uh, which is actually stored in the, in the memory uh, now, and then our next intermediate result is 78, and that's also multiplied, so we're adding that, and then 54, uh, so this is the next intermediate result, and then 54, we're subtracting that. Uh, final intermediate result and then we can recall the total result of the three intermediate results at 12,960. Now using the memory with division so in this example we want to calculate 78.9 divided by 4.5 and then add 65.4 divided by 12.3 and then subtract 147 divided by 25.8. So again, we've got three intermediate results. Right, so enable the memory there. Recalls, nothing in there. So we'll start by 78.9 divided by 4.5 equals. That's our first intermediate result there. And we want to add 65.4 divided by 12.3 and the next calculation is going to be subtracted so I've just hit the subtract there and uh, then we do 147 divided by 25.8 and that equals that's our third intermediate result and uh, if we recall all three is 17.1527 so that's the first look at the BC1611 from Toshiba. I'll be making another video demonstrating some of the more advanced calculations that can be done with this calculator. Yeah, thanks very much for watching.